for my sake For a bell to ring For the first to sing Yeah, I've been blue That ain't nothing new To you, my friend But why get up? Thank you, brother. Alright, so I finally feel like I'm beginning to warm up. It's too bad that it's, you know, already the 14th hole or whatever it is. But, it's a good thing because... I needed to. I was even at this point. This is an uphill putt. And it's a good idea to aim 3 to 5 feet past the hole. Preferably 5. And I thought I did. I thought I did, but I just didn't get it. I didn't even come close. My swing was a little choppy, I will admit. Ugh. Bogey. Bogey. Man, oh man. That was terrible because that was really easy. Okay. Let's get past that. This is hole 14, 398. And I let this one fly. Because it's wide open. I felt comfortable. My swing really felt like it was dialing in right now, right at this moment. I had a 119, I believe, right here. This is my pitching wedge. A 
Okay, that's not bad. Not bad. I left it out to the right a little bit, but it was well short of the pin. I thought it would be short of the pin because this is the low side. I've got about 35 feet right here, maybe 40 feet. Come on, baby. Okay. A little bit short, not bad. And I've got four feet. Middle of the cup, kid. Oh, yeah. This was playing 179, but there was a lot of wind, and the two guys before me went to the right. So I clubbed up and aimed another 10 yards to the left, and still it faded significantly. There was somebody in the bunker right there behind me, and he was um, trying to rake while I was trying to set up, and I told him, go ahead and finish up, and that way I, I can get comfortable here. Go ahead and finish up, brother, if you want. I'm, I'll, I'll get comfortable here for a second. Okay. Let me know when you're ready to go. Okay. Okay, this green slopes to the left. Tough. I'm right on the rim of the bunker and the ball is sitting down significantly in his grass. Okay. Go oh, in the hole. <laughs> Thanks, brother. Big shot. I didn't get the putt because it was like an inch. This is a par five. Five seventeen. I let this one fly as well. I hit a absolute murderous bomb right here. This is like three thirty. I had like one ninety one in right here. This is my six iron. And it fit my swing perfectly. All I had to do was have a little draw on it. Little release. Didn't swing super hard. You know, I wasn't losing my balance like typical. Hit a great shot. Hit on the fringe, and this is my eagle putt. And I was just telling myself, get it there, get it there, get it there. Again, this is three to four feet past the hole is ideal. Is what you want to aim at. Don't aim at the hole is what I've figured out on these. But I babied it right at the last second. Look, it just didn't follow through. I like chopped at it. As opposed to having a nice smooth stroke. Pretty easy right here. About two and a half feet for birdie. Wow, nice and easy. That was confident too. I couldn't say that three months ago, guys. I couldn't. Okay. This is hole 17, 417 yards, and it's tight. It's a very tight squeeze to this one from OB to water on the right side there. Right down the middle, I had a nine iron right there, 162 yards. I'm really proud of that shot right there because there's a bunker to the left and there's water to the right. And I put it exactly where I wanted. As a matter of fact, I drew it over the water. That's a brand new skill. That's a skill that I've never utilized before. I like it. That's Tony right there. Tony's a cool dude. I have about um, 30 feet right here. Uphill. Goes from right to left. See that? Yeah. I was aiming at Tony's right shoe and I didn't get it high enough. So I am even right now on this side. Oh no, choker. Man, I was furious after this one. I was not happy at all. I think I let out a couple of expletives, called myself some dirty names. I was not happy. This is hole 18, it's tight again. Um, there's water to the right, I hit a mammo. Just a great shot. A Little bit too close to the water. I faded about 40 yards. I was really fortunate because the water's right there and instead of kicking right like the fade should, it kicked left. 
This is my 60 degree. I had 114 to the pin. The pin was right on the side of the water. Just an absolute beauty. All right guys, so I'm one over on this side and I was five over in the front. This is for birdie. If I drain this, I could get back to even in 72 and hopefully cash. Usually even caches. Pow, just slipped in. That was a great birdie. Even on this side, fantastic, fantastic. Okay, so the way it broke down was, um, sorry, 70 took first, and that was $450. And then um, 71 was second. I think they got 250 bucks. And then third, there was three of us in third, and we shot 72. And I believe we got a hundred dollars and I also earned a skin on hole number 10 that was a great skin so that paid 125 bucks that's 225 dollars 1106 minus 225 that's nice that means one more day of great shooting if I shoot 72 tomorrow that's guaranteeing me at least a thousand bucks if I could play for free that would be great if I could shoot better than 72 even better. Maybe I can get a couple G's. Thanks for tuning in, guys. I want to say I apologize about how I behaved at Elkhorn in the mini. I apologize. And it takes time to learn, you know, discipline and stamina and how to control your temper. And really, that's what golf is about. But I do want to apologize, guys. I'm sorry. Okay, I apologize. I'm not perfect. And, uh, and I, it was inexplicable. My game was. So that, that was really frustrating. That's it, my amigos! Oh, yeah. I'll see you in the last round. Let's see if I can hold on, okay? I'll see you at Elkhorn tomorrow. Oh, yeah!